Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where today we are gonna it's gonna be super easy peasy. We're just gonna go right back to that data core center thing and uh just gonna waltz on in there and it's gonna be super great. Guaranteed. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping we see more of these new people. I hope I can acquire some armor from them. Not weapons. I have so many weapons. I have so many armors too, but I just have so many weapons. I can't utilize them all. Let's like this new module works. properly. <laughs> use you use know What is wrong with you? What? We could just flowers oh, blooming. Let's see if the software works. Oh shoot. I apologize if there was a. I was like, what am I hearing? I am hearing the echo from my laptop, <laughs> which apparently also had sound and going as well from this. So hopefully that's done. Pass those vines now. They're falling apart. Door's clear now. Okay. I did not expect us to just have to beat it into submission. Oh. The data core looks intact. Time to bring Demeter home. It's so interesting, like, interacting with people, too, that have had the, the little daily wop, the, like, certain access to technology, and how they've evolved to interpret it, like, uh, culturally, you know? Demeter? Let's go! go Look how pretty it is! Sakaya. We'll see it in life. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Demeter's subordinate function to original code. I do wish it would, like, not have the... U UI? The HUD? The HUD up while we were doing that. Last one. Oh, she's gonna what take it from do? me. I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But... It kept a tight grip on the data core, but now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives, almost all of it relating to agriculture. That makes sense. It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. What you said before about- <laughs> Who that scared the crap out of me? I actually okay. jumped. Hold your fire. By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come. Look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers. You hit me first. Well, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come. L look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands oh, before you. Uh, An ancestor reborn. She she kept that to herself? Oh my gosh. They know who Elizabeth Sobek is? They know I'm a clone? Oh my Divine. gosh. We should bring the ancestor back. Yeah, good luck it with that. who follow their word, Commander. Not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. Is she just you playing this the up? Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. Oh my gosh. What game are you playing? I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> People know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but there are... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal, how long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. 
The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south, and it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. Bye! Oh my gosh, did she hear me say Elizabeth Sobek, or did she freaking know? Like, from the start, sort of. And just played it close to her chest. Yeah, well, I'll do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. Time to but go. There's a cauldron and a tall neck nearby. Mm -hmm. Might want to head back to them before I make the trek back to base. <gasps> and now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier. Don't tempt me, Frodo. I am. <laughs> I'm going to go look at the cauldron and the tall neck. No, I think I already looked at the tall neck. Let's see. I did look at the tall neck. That was one. That. Where was it? Uh, down here, yes. That was like, I was gonna have to fight so many. <laughs> so many things I don't want to. I don't even know if that's like the solution <laughs> in the end. You know? Like, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna fight all those creatures and it's gonna be like, and also, hear me out, you have to do some sort of puzzle shenanigans and I'm gonna be like, ha. <laughs> Why? <laughs> wow. So they have. So they even they even have knowledge of that. Like, wait. So if they have knowledge that there are some that can be reborn, are there others that have been reborn, or is it just like she's she's kind of playing it up as look she she is an exact replica of an ancestor. So therefore, she is an ancestor reborn. And just playing that up. Interesting. I am. I can't see anything. This is fine though. Here we go. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a change on this part of the episode. As you can see, this is very sped up. I really quick wanted to say sorry. The previous part was what we were missing between 104 and 105. Here it is. Uh, glad we could have that now. Um, but. Um, so this next bit is the part that I was really frustrated with and that I didn't wasn't going to make a whole episode out of, which is what I totally spaced at the first seven minutes, which were important for the plot. I totally spaced that those were in here. Um, because an hour and a half about of this video was uh, mostly this. This is me trying to get this shell snapper um, to cooperate. I killed off the other two creatures that were around, and uh, for whatever reason, as you can see in the video, um, the shell snapper did not want to listen to rocks like i could not get it to walk into my traps and it was so incredibly frustrating i was just i was really upset <laughs> and like so then i tried to get its attention here i don't know so i'm trying to i'm trying to lure it into my traps which is my usual mo but it was ridiculous also this thing has like like homing missiles and i totally forgot about that and so yeah and this these attacks i don't know you'll see it a little bit but like the ice and and everything was just ridiculous. It has like a, fi a fire ray, an ice ray. Anyway, when I loaded back into the game because I got frustrated, this sawtooth showed up. And so then I just decided to freaking pot shot it from the top because I was like, this is this ridiculous. Like I'm not gonna deal with a sawtooth shell snapper and whatever else you wanna sh like throw at me just because I loaded in again. So I just pot shot this thing because it's close enough and success, yay, did that, you know. Um, but the shell snapper, you guys, drove me insane. Like, here, again, I, I'm trying very hard to, like, throw it in. Also, one of the things is that I can't actually set traps into the water because its whole trail is in the water. So I can't set traps where it's walking, which is really frustrating. And I was like, okay, um... At least what I couldn't, I couldn't set, you know, I didn't try this. I, could, I couldn't set the acid traps. Maybe I could have put in some fire traps. I doubt it. Um, I don't even think I show myself using this, the heavy weapon, because it's just like a short range freeze, like, gun. Kind of like, if you've played Overwatch, it's like May's gun from Overwatch. It has such a short range that it got me killed, or very nearly, when I was trying to use it. 
uh, at one point. Um, not that it's weak to freeze. Anyway, anyway, here we go. Look at this. This thing has freaking like laser beams and like missiles and an ice beam that throw and it throws rocks at you. It's like the air bed. This thing is a freaking airbender. Um, that was frustrating because at this point, um, I don't know if this is synced up, but I was trying to use the electricity attack and I thought I'd switched over to it. Turns out I hadn't. I was still on invisibility. I just ran around like an idiot. So then I come up here to this rocky outcrop because I was like, stupid, this stupid thing. Also, it took ages. It would hide under the ground for like 20 seconds. And I was like, I can't, I can't attack it when it's under there. And then it comes up from under you, throws rocks and throws ice at you. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Um... So then this is me just waiting for it also to come into range because there was a comp, there was some sort of thing, of, you can see me looking at it now, there's like bandits and like machines fighting up there so it's like, you see where it's at over there? That's where the shell snapper is and it's like, I can't reach it with my bows and it was just ridiculous. <laughs> I was so frustrated with this whole thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I end up though, um, Yep, just waiting. This is me waiting for the machine to come up out of the ground. There it is. But yeah, no, so I ended up just hiding up here um, and taking pot shots at its weak points because it does have that glowing stuff. It's like really impenetrable armor that it uses to charge up its own weaponry. So if you hit that, it's bad. It did, and this is what I was worried about. It did manage to knock me off once. Um, but for the most part, I was pretty good. Except right there, I was, I was, I was so, I was about to break my controller in half because I couldn't, it couldn't climb up there. It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, slowly, slowly, I wear it down. It was so frustrating. And then I was like, okay, fine. You know, I'm going to get my stuff, going to get my loot, and I'm going to go in the, the cauldron. And it keeps telling me, oh, hey, you are five levels below this. I don't think you should go in here. And once you start it, you can't get back out. And I'm like, no, I spent an hour trying to get in here. I'm going to do it. Also, this is me just trying to swim straight up. And then I eventually figure out you just got to go. You got to go with the flow and you got to kind of go up with it. And then you'll get up a lot faster instead of just trying to swim against the current. <laughs> but, you know. So this was the culmination of my frustration was in this room. Apparently, that purple glowing thing behind me, right there to the right, is um, a box that you can attach to um, with your pull caster thing and pull it out and climb up and go up. I couldn't, at first I had no idea what I was supposed to do because I'm like, it's glowing, but I don't see any attachments or anything for it. And then, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to throw myself. <laughs> That's how frustrated I was. <laughs> um, but so then I looked up walkthroughs, looked up guides, Nope, I still couldn't. I it told me I was supposed to connect to this and I couldn't. I tried and I tried and I couldn't do it. It was super duper frustrating. So anyway, I gave up on that. I reloaded. Um reloaded the game outside of there. I think I I had I reloaded it to a point where I had defeated the shell snapper, but I didn't go into the Kappa kit. And it's called Kappa, although by the way, which is just super great and made me want to like eat my controller. But um, <laughs> It is also, I think I mentioned it in the next video, but it is supposed to be the hardest cauldron in the game, so unfortunate for that, but I had just wanted to go look at it and check it out, but the cauldrons in this game are really frustrating. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough from that. I really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. Uh, thank you guys all, well, to all of you. Thank you so much for watching this sort of like, you know, 104.5 sort of interim episode. I appreciate it. Um, wanted to get the plot points from the beginning and then just show you a little bit of the frustrations I had. I cut out a bunch. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Riscalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And actually, Adam, I just recently saw on a video um it won't be up on the on the text here but i just got an email saying that adam just adjusted his um patreon pledge to the sapling tier one so thank you as well adam i appreciate you so much i hope you're doing well my friend um and an extra extra special shout out to christopher my tree tier patron who is super patient super wonderful i really do appreciate everything all, all your comments all your support it's just the greatest so thank you so so much and thank you all again for watching and i hope to see you in the next one